Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I will show you this type of uh, photo manipulation like this that means this one yeah these things so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first I'll go to the file and open up and here the stock image the road stock image and then go to the file and place embedded options and here i got a swimming photo from the unsplash.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description so i'll make it a little bit smaller and down the opacity and just place this one in the middle so yeah that's fine and hit the tick button turn the opacity 100 percent and then zoom it in and go to the quick selection tool and select the boy so here this portion and this portion as well so select freehand so it will help you out yeah when you're selecting be careful about selection so here as well yeah that's good and then deselect this portion press the alter button and deselect this portion yeah that's good and now make it mask yeah you're getting this and then press ctrl j for new copy of this layer and then go to the brush tool and down the opacity of the brush and flow up the brush and brush over here make this small radius make the small radius of the brush so just brush over here select this one and brush over here so that's good and this portion as well just brush it out so here yeah that's good and now little bit this portion turn it back yeah that's good and behind the head so a little bit and select the mask again and just brush and now adjust this portion just make it black and select this brush and this portion as well so brush carefully when you are brushing just here and here so yeah that's good and make the smaller of the brush size and turn back make it wide and brush it and turn the finger back and here as well so when you're masking or just do brush be careful when you're brushing this so this portion i'll remove okay that's fine and that's good and this portion i'll brush a little bit just because of the real view so and this portion here as well that's fine okay and now just group these two things make it group and go to the adjustment layer and then the hue saturation and mask it and go to the master from here cyan and down the opacity yeah that's good saturation is down okay that's fine and then go to the adjustment layer and color lookup from here I'll use the futuristic place and 58% that's good and go to the adjustment layer again and the levels so drag into this portion so here only the background color so I'll make it a little bit darker so that's fine and then just go to the adjustment layer and the solid color and take a solid color like that and make it soft light 
and change the color according to the yeah that's good so make the opacity down and the color look of opacity a little bit down yeah that's fine and then select just uh, make copy by pressing ctrl j of the background layer and then select all the things make it group and then make it merge and then go to the gradient and select this gradient here and just make the gradient into reverse and make like that, that yeah the sky will be more darker and it will make sense okay then take a new blank layer and go to the color i'll take the yellow type color wf e f c d and hit the ok button and go to the brush and make the brush opacity 100% and flow 100% select once press ctrl t make it bigger yeah hit the tick button and make it screen and then adjust the light yeah press ctrl t and only here yeah that's good so if you need you can change the opacity and fill yeah that's good and select these three things make it group and make it merge and now i'll apply another effects from the google nick collection go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro 4 this one is a plugins and if you want to get the plugins please check out my video description so from here i'll use the cross processing and here lots of method i'll use the l05 and then hit the ok button so yeah it's almost done so our photo is done you can do this type of manipulation that is the conceptual photography or surreal photography whatever you can tell so thank you so much thanks for watching my video detail if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the stock images and the plugins link download link please check out my video description until the next video i am smr signing out today bye bye